Good afternoon, Stampers. Hi, my name is Joanne Perry. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I live in Canada. Um, I'm just going to do a little video. I did this on Facebook Live a few days ago, so I just thought I'd put it on YouTube too. Um, in case you haven't seen this, there's a nice kit on um, the clearance rack right now. It's called The Most Wonderful Time and it has the bundle which has the dies for it. This one is a French one. It's available in French and we have the English one. It has the stamp set and a set of dies in it. There you go. So if you didn't get this yet, this is retired, but they brought it back and it's in the clearance rack. It has the stamp set, like I said, the dies, and it has a spool of a tinsel ribbon. It has these little stars, they're golden stars. And a lot of designer paper in it, double-sided, and it has the gold foil. Let's just show you the sheets here. Beautiful paper, it's all like um, garden green and red and gold. It also has, so that's the paper. It also comes with these little cards. Those two are gold and white. And it comes with two sheets of each stickers. And I'll bring it up like this, maybe it'd be better. That's two of those and two of these. And two of these. So in the video, I will demonstrate um, three cards. It's this one, and this one, and this one. If you're interested to see how to make these just keep watching and um, also while supplies last if one of my customers order from me this kit for $57 Canadian using a special host code that I can give you uh, you will receive or you can message me just send me an email to at stampinjo at gmail.com uh, or you can place your order on stampinjo.stampinup.net and um, I will post the uh, host code in there. It's just a temporary host code, which will give you access to a card kit that I will pre-cut for you all the, um, all the card stocks that you need and the die cut labels. This is the first card. So... It, you'll get the kit to make six cards, so two of each. And I'll, I'll send the um, instructions so that you know how, um, how to cut your design of paper. Because you'll get the, pa the DSP with your kit. And that's the other one. This one was actually cased right from the catalog. Isn't that pretty? But I did design these two myself. It's not often that I do that. <laughs> if you know me, you know that's true. I'm really good at copying from Pinterest and um, uh, really good at figuring out the sizes for uh, to make the card. But I'm not good at designing it. Well, it's not that I'm not good. It's just I don't take the time to do it. I know if I put my time into it, I devote it, and I, um, I can come up with it. But... Why bother? Why waste time when it's already there? So if you want the English uh, bundle, the kit, um, this is the, I don't know if it's backwards for you, but I'll just read it out loud. 
The item number is 150705. And if you want the French one, which is Le Plus Beau des Noël, number is 150717. Donc, si vous voulez le, le kit en français, le numéro c'est 150717. Uh, puis le prix est 57$. This was regular $95 in the, in the original catalog. So, it's a great deal, a really good deal. So, I'm going to switch over. I did this video um, on a Facebook Live a couple of days ago, but I shortened it up. I tried to cut out all the, you know, the talking. I know I don't like watching uh, YouTube videos when you're seeing that they're talking to all the viewers and comments, replying back and forth. Um, so I'm not good at editing videos yet, but I was able to shorten it up quite a bit. So it should only be about 30 minutes, I'd say. And you'll see um, how I made all these cards. Okay. Whoops. I think they're back. They're upside down. No, nope, they're not. On the vi When it's on the camera, it looks... Hold on. <laughs> Put them the right way. There we go. You'll get to see me make these cards. There's only three, but I made the... Uh, one ahead of time and you'll have lots of ideas lots of samples to do with your kit when you get it so like i said it's just while supplies last um you can message me anytime to find out if it's available okay i'll flip you over to the video now thank you so we have old olive i already f scored and folded we're gonna have a piece here that's uh three by five and a quarter and this one is one inch, I'm pretty sure. Yep, yeah. one inch by four and a quarter. So there's your card front. So we're gonna glue that down right away. Myself, I like uh, using the liquid glue on a lot of my projects because I can move it around. Like if it's crooked, I can still move it like that. That looks straight and make sure you're your uh, bucks are standing, they're not upside down. So I could use do it this way, but I'm gonna go like that. And just put this one along the edge of the previous one. See, you can move it. <laughs> it in together okay now I've already pre-cut a circle this is from the um, stitched shapes uh, there's circles ovals and squares and this is retiring it's on the last chance list so if you don't have this yet you uh, you might want to grab it I'll show you see how there's circles so this one is the largest circle in the set And so that's gonna go there. We also need to cut one of these labels. Bring in my mini cutting machine. It takes less room when I'm doing a video. <laughs> so you use your plate number one. And then you have two plates. They're clear, they're clear plates, they're number two. Put one first. And just a piece of scrap paper. Let's see. If this one is long enough. No, I don't want to push it. Hold on, I forgot to dig some out. Oh, let's use this one. Okay. Um, actually, while I'm doing that, let's get the stamping done first. Before I do that, I mean. We need the Christmas tree. Okay, and I'm gonna use a foam pad to put under my uh, stamping uh, piece. And it's old olive ink. Just tap, tap, tap. No wiggling. I'll put it this way. So 
this is the tree from that set. And then I'll get some scrap paper. I should go back to doing what I used to do when uh, with this. I used to um, put one on top of this and leave it there. You could even put scotch tape here to hold it, but it, then you always have it ready for situations like this. <laughs> and um, so I'm gonna take the smallest tree too, and it's, you want to put it a little away from that one if you want to cut it all together at once. And with the same tree, I'm gonna do the second generation stamping on the big one. So you don't have to color that tree. You can just do a bunch of this. See how it's like that. Um, put that away. This back out. So like I said, you put one plate and your um, paper. Then you could put your dies. If you're scared that it's gonna move, you can just put a piece of washi tape or a post-it note across that. I'm gonna take a chance today. I'm just gonna put my head closer here. and put this one and the label there it is okay and then just put that in here you try not to move it <laughs> This tree. We have the label. Pretty. And the big tree. Oh, let's do the star. I forgot the star. And uh, let's put it on here. Oh, I mean the angel. That's just a piece of gold foil. So who's missing in person classes? Are you uh, finding like it's been forever? <laughs> it's so, uh, I didn't expect it to, to last this long. But yeah, missing the uh, teaching and having all the preps, everything ready for the classes. Um, hopefully we can get back to normal sometime soon. <laughs> and okay, let's do this. I'm gonna get some um, dimensionals. And my glue dots to glue the angel on the top. And there she is. Now we can put dimensionals on the back of this. Okay. 
Let it stick up a little higher. And either here or put them in the back. I think I'll do the same as I did before. We'll just put a little bit of glue on the uh, left side. You could even use the stamp and do some in the background too. You could stamp a few of those. Now with the tag, we're gonna stamp one of the sayings, which is, oh, Christmas tree. Um, I'm gonna use a red this time. It'll pop out more. So a real red. Let me get my foam pad here. There you go. So what are you girls all up to today? I actually went for a, a little uh, drive with Maxine. It was her day off and she works at MacArthur's. So she asked me if I wanted to go with her. We went to, to MacArthur's on her day off. <laughs> I said, I feel like a little kid that gets out of the house for a change. I don't want to have a car here uh, during the day. so. I'm usually um, stuck in the house. Don't go far, but that's good because I don't waste money that way. <laughs> so we went to uh, Starbucks after and uh, got a little treat from there. That was nice. Got some seeds to uh, plant some uh, flowers at the trailer as soon as we can start going back there. There we go. Yeah, we have a nice spot on the lake in uh, Coles Island. So I spend most of our weekends there. Last summer was perfect. It was so nice. So we're anxious to get that done again. And just put it right there. And there you go. I'm glad I used the red because, whoops, this one doesn't have any red in the card, so it makes a change. And this is the one I did earlier. Um, oh, I see what. I forgot to put some of these in there. You can take some of those stickers. I'll show you again. So these little things, I could still put a few of them in there. And there, you just peel it off the sheet. They're very sticky though. Let's see if I can still lift it up. Yep, I can. And there you go. I can add a couple of those. There's some longer ones and shorter ones. And actually I'll just Stick some more up there. There you go. So there's two cards, two ideas. One with the star and the other one with the angel. Okay, that was card number one. Let's show you. So I took a piece of the paper and I cut it in half. It's a six by six sheet. So I just went from one corner to the other. And then you want to place it on your card i want to do it like this but yeah you, you take it that you cover it all so you could put glue on your paper now and then cut it out but i prefer putting it on and then just holding it there and cut the uh, extra piece of paper all around before i glue it so where are my scissors all right, the, ooh, no, I don't want to use my ribbon scissors. <laughs> okay, so you're just going to cut off. That one there. Hold it this way. And your white piece is four by five and a quarter. 
can use this to do some punching. And then you try to remember how you had this. <laughs> like that, yep. So we're gonna glue that down. Sheets here. Already forgot how it was like this. Yep. I'm gonna lift it up so I can see. So you see how it's uh, why it's better to use liquid glue. So you can move it around and then press it down. I love this sheet. Okay, and I'll do the stamping first. And like I said, we have a French set too. This one says, On vous souhaite le plus beau des Noël. And use that one. The other one I made was English. I always find that I never have enough French uh, sets to uh, send to my uh, francophone customers. Put that on here. And I think I'll use the ring, the red ink again. And, whoop, not upside down. Right there. Okay. I actually didn't put this high enough. I should have put it a little higher, but it will be a little different now I need my little candy canes um, so one is going this way and I want the other one the other way okay so I'm gonna take let's go with this one here. Yeah, to the opposite side. Okay. Stick it there. And stick the other one like that. Now we can glue this right on the card. Get a shake, shake, shake. <laughs> it says live, so you must be live. LOL, better late than never. <laughs> yes, Pierrette, so now you know that trick, eh? When you see uh, on the top left hand of the corner when it says live, that means you're catching me live. I'm actually still stamping. <laughs> so I'm just on my second card and this is what the other one looked like earlier. Oh, it, I had removed the, the big uh, candy cane before. I didn't notice it pulled off the cardstock. But yeah, that's how you make this little funky corner this was actually a card that i seen on lynn dunn's website i shared her link before because with this kit you can make so many beautiful cards um and i already had this kit for a long time and actually i it had disappeared for a while i couldn't find it when uh, it was it showed up on the retiring list uh, from the um oh the um and the holiday catalog so um i tried to find my kit to make some cards at that time and could not find that and finally i got it but then it was gone it was retired and gone and now last night just before i went to bed i checked my phone again and the clearance rack was on it had updated and it was on there. So I said, okay, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm gonna go and make a few cards so I can show you how um, cool this kit is before they're gone. 
since I lost my chance to tell you about it before. <laughs> so here what I am doing is I took a strip of this paper. If you want the measurements, let's see, it's one and a half. So this one is one and a half by five and a half. Yep, five and a half. And then I just used that strip. I had a piece of that that was an inch um, wide and I just cut it in two to make it on each border. So now I'm gonna go and glue it on the garden, uh, sorry, the uh, old olive, the old olive um, card base. Okay, just leave a little bit of the green on the left side. And lift it to shift it around. Okay, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Um, I oh, there it is. So I got this circle. This one is the second biggest one in the uh, stitched shape dies <laughs> tongue twister um i need one of the deers now on the stickers oh, this is the designer paper there's a bunch of little different deer there's some with the horns so there's some bucks in there um Let's see which one. I want to use a buck this time. So you just pull it off, like lift it up a little bit like this, and then remove it from the sheet. And there you go. So if you're new at stamping, you don't have a lot of supplies, this would actually be a good kit to get because you have your stamp set in it and the dies. I know you probably don't have um, a die cutting machine, but um, you could just fussy cut on certain things, you know, like these images are not that hard to uh, cut around them. Unless you want the mini die cutting machine, that would be nice too. So I'm just gonna glue him on there. You don't want him to stick there because we're gonna put dimensionals on the back. Actually, let's do that right now. And like I said, when you do a circle, I always do a triangle with my dimensionals. Yeah, so I do a triangle, so then it stays straight. It's not wobbly. He's gonna go there. I'm not gonna glue him yet because I'm gonna put some leaves behind it now. <clears throat> then same thing it's always easier I find if you're pulling from the bottom part find it up like that and then just stick a few in the back here like this is so easy to make these cards it's really really worth it and another one here okay now you can remove the backing. Let's say, I bring them over here, like that. And uh, for this, the greeting on this one, let's use one of the tags. This one, mm, there's a few different ones. Actually, I could use that one. Let's see on the other card, I used this one here. I'm gonna try that one because I wanna stick it to the bottom. I think he should be okay. Now let's go put a stamp on there. We have, we have, we have. <laughs> Lynn Dunn, I, when uh, I saw her card, it was similar to this. Um, but she did another circle here and she put comfort and joy on the bottom here. Um, 
But I think I'll put hope. <laughs> hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Oh, let's do it in French again. Like I said, I need French ones. On vous souhaite le plus beau des Noël. And let's do it in red again. So, Pierrette, I know you're new to this. Just like you see when I'm stamping, I'm not wiggling and not pressing hard. It's just tap, tap, tap. You don't want to make a mess on your block. So I'm going to bring this closer to me so I can get this straight because I only have one of these stickers left. <laughs> there. And again, when you're stamping it, don't wiggle it. Don't go like this. Oh, let's see. Oh, eh? All right, I'm going to take it off. And before I glue it down, I'm going to see, it's going to be like that, but I can put dimensionals on the back here so that they keep, they stay popped up. Um, I'll get the mini ones. We have two sizes. These are the regular ones. And we have our mini dimensionals. Takes less room, so you see how it can fit perfectly in there. And all right, la. Now remove this. Always double check before you glue it down, so you put it the right way up. <laughs> and we go a little up. Yeah, this is perfect for it. There, press it down. Voila, and I will add a little star. There are some little pieces left before. Mm. Well, I'll just use it from this sheet. You see these ones? They're just little stars. And like that, and put them right there. Et voila. Is that already three cards? It is. And this one is the one I did earlier. So do you like this? If you have any crafting, crafty friends, um, you should share, share this video or add them, like tag them in here so that they can see, and I'm gonna show you again in case you jumped in here later. Um, but this is a product kit that um, is on sale. It was, so these are the cards that we made. And this one. Um, I used the, it's called It has the stamp set and the dies, which are, most of them are out of there, but it has all these dies, the, the tree. I'll put them back in now that I'm done. And there's a little angel in a star. Oh, and I'm gonna show you this one. It's a gift. It's they're the Christmas gifts because it's a two-step stamping. So um, yeah, you get the dies, the bun, the uh, stamp set, and you get a whole pack of designer paper. These little stars. Do you have the glue to back on the back of it? So I could have used that on the top of the tree. Um, they have these little extra cards, nice golds on it. And uh, the two of each uh, sticker sheet that I've been showing you. And a whole pack of designer paper. If you missed it, you can go back to the uh, start of the, um, the Facebook Live. What is it? This is so pretty. I really, really like this. If you get the kit, I'm sure we can make more cards together too. So, but anyways, if you buy the kit, it's fifty-seven dollars. Oh, and it comes with the little tinsel, tinsel ribbon. <laughs> this thing here. 
um, yeah, it was, when they first came out with this, it was $95. It's just like our other boho uh, class that I'm doing. Um, it was $95, but right now it's on the clearance rack while supplies last. Um, it's the, the list is going down in there. It, um, is on sale for $57. So you get your bundle and that pack of paper, the tinsel, the little gold dots, little, um, stars. <laughs> And um, I'm going to include a kit of cardstock and pre-cut labels to make these cards. So you'll get enough to make six cards, two of each. And I'll have a PDF instructions for you. And I'm going to have everything, all the cardstock that you see on these, it's all going to be pre-cut for you. And um, all you have to do is cut your designer paper that you'll get in your pack. And you'll do the stamping. See, these were the, the deer stickers. And then I stamped the trees in the background, second generation. And that's one of the labels. And I, I'll have all this all pre-cut for you, ready to go. And you can make two of each cards. So I'm going to show you how to make these little gifts. See them here? I'll just do this quickly and I will let you go. Oh, where's my little Christmas gifts? So there's a stamp that's like this. And there's another one like this. You might be like, what is that? So I'll show you. Actually, let's do it on the... Um... Nope. <laughs> this is really not playing, as you can see. Eh? Hold on. I'm going to get my little piece of scrap again. I'm going to do two different things. One I'm going to stamp on there, and the other one I'll stamp it too, but I'll cut it after with the die cut machine. Okay, so let's do two of these. Old Olive, or any color you want, but because it's uh, the color that coordinates in the kit, that's what I'm going to use. And that's the one I did this card with. So I'm going to stamp it about like towards the top. If you get ink on your block, it's better to wipe it before you uh, apply your stamp to your card because you don't want the edge of the green. See, you don't want the edge stamping on your card. So I'm gonna go put my head in here again. Like this, so it looks like it's faded. That's how it's supposed to uh, to be. Um, the real red. Actually, let's stamp another one right away. See, I uh, my ink pad is all like wobbly. You, I don't know if you can see. It's got li little hills on it. I don't know why, but um, that's why I get ink on the top. I didn't wiggle. <laughs> All right, now the gr the real red. I'm just gonna cut this one shorter. So you take, excuse me, take this piece here and you just tap it and then you're gonna align it. You see the white space on the gifts? It's got like the cross here, the line here. You're gonna line those up in there. I'm gonna just bring it towards me. I wanna make sure I got my head above it so I can get it as straight as I can. As you go down, you can see if you're uh, covering the white. Even if it's a little off, it's okay. Like you see, I didn't do it perfectly on that one. But uh, see what it does? So, the before and after. Cute, eh? And then I'll do this one too. Concentration. Hey, voila. That one's actually really good. 
but I did get some green there, but doesn't matter. I'm going to cut those ones out. So I'm going to clean this. Yeah, these are the old style ink pads, so I think I'm due to change and uh, buy the new ones for those colors. I started getting them when they came out. The pads are much better. But I was like, they're still good. They still work. <laughs> and then here, I'm going to stamp the deck the halls. It's in that stamp set too. Right there. Okay. Um, I'll do it in black again. Then I'll have a tag ready for another card. I like that font. Cute, eh? All right, put that aside. Yeah, the newest ink pads are made like this. You lift it up like that and you slide it in. So you see how this one is new. That's how the new ones look like. I've had those ink pads for a long time. All right, now this one is stamped and we have this die. So you're gonna put it through your die cutting machine, align it like this and it will cut it out. And there you go, you have three little gifts. Um, on, where's that card again? On this one here. There's those bling. So I use the red, <clears throat> red rhinestones. One of them flew off. So I'm just gonna put them where in the middle of the bow, just like that. Cause you can see like where it joins. I should use my tool picker, but my nails are long enough like that and like this and there you go so three little gifts all cut out for you but if you don't have the die cut machine you could use scissors and just cut all around them and i think that's it Let's just bring the cards back. Like I said, if you get a chance to order that, you can either order it online or um, send me a message. If you do place uh, the order for this kit, I will include a kit to make these three cards and you'll make two of each. So you'll, all, you'll get a head start. You'll have six cards uh, ready to go. And then you can make these ones. You know how to do them now. I will supply the pictures of them and um, the measurements too. I can put that in there too. And that's it. So you got, look at all the cards I made today. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> there you go. Now I got to go and uh, check on supper. <laughs>